Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank FRC TV for the opportunity uh, to come up here and say a few words on my candidacy uh, coming up uh, in September. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Leo Pelletier, and I've been on the council for some 26 years. And I say to you, the people of Fall River, there's nothing like experience. I've worked on many, many issues here in the city of Fall River for 28 years, some small, some large. Uh, we have 17 schools that have to be sold. We've been having a lot of problems uh, trying to disperse of these schools. Uh, right now, we're in process asking a request for proposals, and that went out this month, and I've called the city hall up uh, today, and they don't seem to be too much interest in buying some of these schools. We lowered the price to uh, uh, $1 that you could buy it, but you have to come up with some kind of good proposals. And a lot of the, the residents where the schools are do not want housing. So that's something that I'm going to look close at to make sure there's no housing that's going to be put in there. But, you know, you could put a uh, lawyer's office, maybe doctor's offices in there, professional building, whatever the case may be. Also, some of the areas, maybe we could knock it down, maybe for a park for the kids. But uh, it's going to be dealt with, and we will deal with it. We advertise in a, a central register for the state, the Boston Herald, Providence Journal, and the Herald News. We're just waiting to see what's going to happen. Jobs, jobs, jobs for Fall River. I think that's the most important thing that we have to do. I said it before, and it has to be done. We got the biopark that, that, that we are creating now, but it will only bring jobs in the future, as many maybe as 8,000. Uh, the mayor has tried very hard to get uh, casino gaming here in the city of Fall River. But well, first of all, it's going to go through Boston. Once it goes through Boston, then we'd like to get it set up in Fall River. It will create some five to 6,000 jobs and you know we need jobs. Also, we have a, a, an ordinance, a revised ordinance on the waterfront that will bring many jobs and many different companies. That's something else that I looked into, and uh, we'll be voting on that this week or next week to ease up the permitting, uh, the permitting to make it easier for people to bring banks uh, maybe theater, restaurants in this particular area, and I am certainly all for that because that creates jobs. One thing that bothers me somewhat is uh, Proposition 2 and a half. We go out throughout the community and we see a lot of people are having a hard time paying their bills, and it's just that I would not uh, propose overriding Proposition 2 and a half. But if it has to be done, it would have to go to the voters of Fall River. And if they decide that they need an override here in the city of Fall River, they would have to say, we'll vote for it, put it on the ballot. Also facing the city of Fall River, as we well know, all the problems with the gangs and the prostitutions that have uh, been throughout the city of Fall River. I feel that the police department has done a good job and I'm hoping they have enough help to continue the situation of rounding up the girls and uh, take them off the street. Uh, it's something that uh, is just no good for the city, and we have to clear that up. Other, other than that, uh, like I said, uh, I could use your vote. I'd like to be there for another two years. And the best thing I got going for me, the constituent service that I do day in and day out. People stop me on the road. People stop me in restaurants. They see my truck. They'll stop me and ask me for whatever they need. And if I can take care of them, I tell it like it is. And if I can't do it, I'll tell them. And if I can do it, I'd gladly do it. I can have somebody tell me right now that they need something. I'll pick up the phone and call right in front of them because i got plenty of time to do that. With that, I ask you for your support and your vote coming up September. Thank you very much.